Hi right, guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me this evening. As you can see here, I have um, a review of Spectrum Noir's new color tint pencils. Now, I done a um, I done a review of um, Spectrum Noir's Aqua markers last not that not that long ago, uh, and I done a drawing of a flower or a painting of a flower. Uh, with the markers and the the Spectrum Noir color tint pencils together, so um, at the end of this video, you will be able to uh, link over to that painting, and and you'll be able to see the pencils kind of like uh, being demonstrated in that video. Um, also, from time to time, I'll pop up the 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 image that I painted, and you'll be able to get uh, a gist of um, the the types of colors and stuff like that that are available in this set. But like I said, when when I was doing that review of the uh, Spectrum Noir um, Aqua Markers, uh, I, I happened to say that if if I was running kind of like a, an award ceremony at the end of the year, you know, you know like kind of like a, an Oscars for uh, art supply companies, I think um, Spectrum Noir would definitely win the award for kind of like the the, the, the most. Um, the most overworked really i suppose because those people down at spectrum noir must be working their backsides off because the amount of new products that they've brought out over the last year and a half two years has been phenomenal uh, i went through it in that last video um but this is just uh, another one of those new products that they have brought out some of the other stuff that they've brought out has been kind of like a rebrand or not a rebrand but you know like kind of a, a reinvigoration of markers and stuff like that these pencils the color tint have, are, are brand new to their line and they are absolutely beautiful um i've absolutely loved using these as you can see here from the um the images on the tins they're very much uh, a muted color uh they're tinted graphite pencils. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be saying, ordinarily, when I'm doing reviews, I like to contain the review to the company that I'm reviewing. I don't like discussing other companies in the middle of reviews or anything like that. I will be doing comparison videos uh, later on down the line. But ordinarily, when I'm doing reviews, I like to contain it just to the company I'm doing. But on this occasion, I am going to mention, because I know a lot of people are going to be going, well, aren't they just like, Uh, Derwent do a set of pencils, a beautiful set of pencils called Graphitint, and there's 24 in the, the in the Derwent Graphitint set, set, and obviously a lot of people are going to think that um, the color tint are Spectrum Noir's version of the Graphitint. Guys, when I first got these, I thought exactly the same thing, so I sat down for uh, a couple of days intermittently obviously getting up and down because of my back and i tested the the graphitint against these and although the concept is the same although they're they're they're, they're uh, pigmented graphite uh or tinted graphite muted colors and stuff like that they're of graphite they really do feel like different pencils and i'm not too sure i can't exactly put my finger on what it is that's different about them but but they are very different pencils um, and perhaps maybe because I do have a review of the Graphitint, maybe if you go across and you watch that review and then you compare it to this review and you have a look at the color charts that I'll be putting up, you might get a, a general idea of what I mean. Anyway, let's get on with it. So as with all good things, the, the biggest bugbear I have with these is, is that there's only 24. It's the same with anything that I really love. If there's only a few of them, uh, I'm not going to like it because I want more and more and more because I'm greedy. But that's you know that that is a compliment to the company because when when you stumble upon something that is really nice whether it be a lot of colors and stuff like that there that are in the sets or whatever and you just want more of it like i say it's a testament to the the company hitting the jackpot with that particular product so Although there's 24 in the line, it's not like one set of 24. There are two distinct separate sets. So we have here on the left, as you're looking at it, the primary set. And then we have here on the, the right, as you're looking at it, the nature set. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the sets individually. Um, I'll just move the nature set over to the one side here and I'll have a look at the primary. 
Now, if you have a look down below here as well at the bottom, you can give it, it gives you like a, a little rundown, a, a quick glance at the, at the the colors that are in that set. Um, if you turn the tin over, uh, you get a, a, a slightly better understanding of the colors that are in the set. And like I said, um, the, the colors are, are named here uh, in four different languages uh, as well. So let's get right into opening the pencils. Uh, now, obviously, I've used these, um, done a little bit of artwork with them and what have you. So that's why they're sharpened. But let's take a look at the characteristics of the pencil, first of all. So as you can see here, it's a round barrel. Now, they are um, a, like a, a watercolor pencil. So you're, you're going to get the, the biggest punch of pigment once you activate them with water which is the reason why that they're uh, a nice chunky pencil. And I love pencils like this. This is one of the reasons why I, I love uh, watercolor pencils because I, I love the way they feel in your hand. They're nice and chunky. Um, and these ones here, the, the core is a 3.8 millimeter core and the uh, case in the barrel is a uh, eight millimeter barrel. Now, it has this beautiful kind of like Payne's gray barrel. And then the end of it is um, capped with the, the pigment color, the representation of the pigment color. Uh, if we have a look along the barrel here, we have um, color tint in um, silver leaf and then by Spectrum Noir. And then further on down, we have the uh, pigment name. And that is really all that is on the, um, the barrel. There's no light fast information or anything like that. I couldn't find any light fast information. But ordinarily, when it comes down to uh, watercolor pencils, that type of thing, there, there's very much a, a, a debate on whether, you know, um, once once these pencils are activated with water, does the light fastness dissipate? Does it, you know, does it become weaker and stuff like that? But that's something that I'm trying to research and find out more about for a different video. But nevertheless, there's, there's not uh, any light fast information individually to these pencils. So, um, that's the, the characteristics of the pencil. Let's have a look and see what the, the, the colors are going to look like. Now, like I said, I'm going to show you some of these colors. Um, let me just zoom in there a little bit for you. Uh, I'm just going to use some of these colors, obviously dry, first of all give you a little bit of an understanding of um, just how vibrant they are once they, they, they are activated. And there's, so the colors that I have here is Deep Mauve, Russet, Rockwell Blue, and Grass Green. So I'm just going to do uh, like a, a light application. And this is kind of rough. This is Dale O'Reilly Rough Watercolor Paper. It's uh, actually really quite nice. I use it for uh, uh, a lot for graphite drawing. But as you can see here, it grips hold of the pigment really, really nicely. Uh, so that's the grass green. Um, this is the russet. Again, it's kind of like medium to light pressure that I'm putting on here because um, I, I want to get the, the, the maximum impact for you once I activate this with water. You get a, uh, a good understanding of what this pigment is like. Uh, that's the deep move. And as you can see there, you know, the, these pencils, they really sharpen well. Uh, you know, they sharpen into a really nice point. Uh, and this is the Rockwell Blue. Now these pencils are from the primary sets. Now I'm going to go over and I'll I'll take four out of the, the nature set as well. And uh, put four of those down. Uh, with the nature set here, we have um, Earth Green. Uh, this one's warm grey. Uh, 
Uh, this one's Dusky Lilac. And this one's Adobe. And so you can see there that uh, the, these colors, they really are muted. You wouldn't really see much of a difference in, in a lot of them there. Uh, and so I'm just going act to start activating them here with some water. So we'll start with the top. And uh, we'll start with the, the, the grass green. Can see there the difference as soon as uh, I'll, I will zoom in on all of these once I've uh, then we'll, we'll go to the russet and then this one's a deep move. Uh, and then finally, uh, for the primaries, the Rockwell Blue. And you can see there straight away, I mean, it, the, the colors are so much more vibrant once they're activated. Okay, so the, the next ones that we're going to do here are uh, the Earth Green. Uh, and these ones are from the, the Nature set. Uh, next we have uh, Warm Grey. Then we have the dusky lilac. And then finally we have the adobe, which uh, looks like a red, a red color. Okay, so there you go. Let me just zoom in here. You can see these colors a little bit better. Okay, so the top row here, don't forget this is the primaries. This is uh, grass green, this is russet, deep mauve, rockwell blue. And then on the bottom row here, we have, um, we have earth green. This one here is a warm gray. Uh, then we've got dusky lilac here. And then we have this uh, Adobe here on the, the far right as you're looking at it. So all in all there, you can see that when the pencils, I think when the pencils are um, are just dry, you know, the, the colors in, in themselves, they may not, obviously, once you activate them with water, that's where the real punch comes in terms of the pigment and the explosion of color and boldness and stuff like that. But even when they're dry, they're still beautiful colors. They're still beautiful muted colors that can be used in say like landscape or anything like that um as i said here they are very different i think personally to the the graphic tint um i don't know what it is i can't exactly explain what it is but they are different i think these pencils are really special really really special i think uh spectrum noir are on to um something really fantastic with these uh pencils 
Now, obviously, the light fast information on them, as I've already mentioned, uh, there isn't really much about that. So, in terms of whether you could use these for um, fine art or anything like that, you could absolutely use the colours for fine art. But in terms of whenever you're going to um, hand it over to somebody and the light fast information, that that's obviously going to be an issue for you. But you know, I've been on lots of different forums lately, um, where people have been saying, you know, that this. Debates have been sparked left and right about light fast on pencils and um, how that nowadays you can get uh, fixatives and stuff like that. There's sprays, UV sprays, um, glass and stuff like that that can be put in front of. Um, sorry, I'm going in the mic. Uh, glass that can be put in front of uh, paintings and stuff like that, there, and it's still going to give you the. Um, the UV protection and it's going to keep the colours uh, bright and bold for as long as you have it behind that glass or the same with the sprays. Now I can't testify to any of that because I've never used any of it but it is something uh, to, to bear in mind that just because some of these pencils don't have the highest light fast rating or anything like that it's not to say that you know you, you can't go out and do fantastic artwork with them because you absolutely can. Uh, it all just comes down to whether um, you know, you're going to be selling this artwork or it's going to be going into a gallery or it's going to go into a competition that needs certain specifications, all those types of things. That is really about it. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I love these pencils. I think they're absolutely amazing. The colors that they have selected in this range are just beautiful. Uh, you'll see the images of the, the full color charts coming up here on your screen. But then don't forget, you can go across to the Art Gear Guide. Uh, you can Take a look at the, the speed drawing that I've done using these pencils and the uh, aqua markers in conjunction with, with one another. And that was like a, a flower that I've done. Um, like, like I said, it just gives you a, a real-time demonstration of what these pencils can do. Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.